Welcome Tiger fans to another edition of Tiger Tube here at the Bay Barn Bistro at Glenelg Footy Club. We're coming off a really disappointing loss against North Adelaide where there are a couple of key areas we need to obviously improve. Namely our centre square stoppage work. At the end of the four quarters we went down minus 11 and obviously this was a real, real negative thing for our playing group. However, something we'll obviously work on moving forward. Another area that we need to improve is our outside stoppage spread both defensively and also offensively. Players such as James Allen and James Bennett really showed the way for the opposition and unfortunately weren't able to curb their influence. Another area to improve is our tackling. Unfortunately we only managed 33 where we need a plus 40 uh, to be competitive from a defensive viewpoint. On the flip side of that, from quarter time onwards the playing group showed enormous character and some resilient skills. Coming into the quarter time break we were obviously down by four goals. But thankfully, a number of key players, namely Jason Davenport, who was our third best, really provided some run through the midfield with 11 handball receives plus 26 possessions. Also, Tom Lynch, who has been a real positive addition to our playing group this year. Crows listed player, and no doubt he'll be up with the Adelaide Crows very soon. He had amassed 34 possessions. Best player for us, and was a real key pivotal target going up forward, and also throughout the ruck with his physicality was Lockie Button, who had an outstanding game. Unfortunately for our reserve squad, we had a really frustrating result considering the effort that the playing group put into the game. This effort wasn't rewarded on the scoreboard, evidenced by 21 scoring shots. Of those 21 scoring shots, we scored 15 behinds. There were three really positive players at reserves level. Matthew Snook had a really positive performance, having 17 possessions and a total of eight tackles. His defensive grunt work was outstanding and he's a leader in this area for our football club. Second best and a player who's been very consistent this year goes to Harrison Gill. He had a total of 18 possessions and played as an inside mid for our playing group and did that really well. Best player at reserves level goes to Carl Nicholson who had a total of 21 possessions and also three tackles and seven inside 50s. This is great reward for both Carl, Harrison and Matthew who have been training really well in the last fortnight. We also had two first games at reserves level, both Billy Laurie and Billy Hayes, who both acquitted themselves really well. Congratulations to Lincoln McCarthy, who came through our Border Town South East Academy. He came on late in the game for Geelong Footy Club and had a total of six possessions as a sub. Also, congratulations to Lockie Neal, who came through Kyber Light, which is our Narra Court South East Academy. He played his seventh game against Adelaide Crows and acquitted himself really well. All Glenelg supporters and members, make sure you come down next Monday and support the playing group here at Gliderol Stadium. Make sure you get here early to watch our reserves. The league kick off at 2.10pm. Last time we played the Eagles away, we went up by 32 points. No doubt it'll be a very, very challenging performance against last year's Premiers. For all Glenelg members and supporters, Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to TigerTube. See you next week.